Hey guys, welcome to this video. Steve here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about conversation AI. I know I have uh, made a video in the past about conversation AI and how it works, but that was a default setup. In this video, I'm going to give you a more detailed look into how conversation AI works with GoHigh level workflows. So it gives you the opportunity to talk to the lead and qualify it before actually booking it for an intro. So let's talk about the use case that I'm, I'm working with in this video. So we are working with a martial arts studio and the martial arts studio offers free introductory classes. And the flow will be if the person or if the lead hasn't done martial arts before, is not familiar with martial arts, the bot will suggest, uh, you know, booking a taster class or an introductory class, whatever you might call it. If the person has, or if the lead has done martial arts before, the offer would be sign up now and get one month free. So your first month will be free. If the lead replies negatively to that offer, then the bot would ask for an intro, right? That's the typical flow we're gonna work with, or that's the use case we're gonna work with in this video. So first of all, let's go to settings and let's go to conversation AI. And then let's turn it off because we won't work with this usual setup. We are going to work with our own custom setup through Go High Level Workflow. Now go back. So uh, let me show you the calendar. So I'll go to calendar settings and so I'm going to work with this calendar, book an intro class. So this is a calendar I've created. Uh, it's a basic simple uh, event calendar and I want them to book an intro to this calendar, which the bot will do itself. So we don't have to do anything or neither the lead. So the bot will book them in. Uh, the third thing we're going to do is we're going to go to site. We're going to go to forms. Here's a form called book a free class. So the, the idea is to, if the lead fills out the form, the bot kicks off and then starts doing its job, asking those qualification questions and further book them for an intro. So everything starts from this form. Now let's go to automation and I'll create a new workflow. I'll start from scratch so I can show you how I would do it. I would just call it conversation AI and this use case is just to give you an example. You can think of your own use case and then you can implement it according to that for your own business or your client's business. So everything starts with the form submit. So I'll just say form submitted and I'm going to say form is book a free class. And then what we would do is we would wait for five minutes just so it doesn't sound really robotic as soon as the form submits uh you know the the bot kicks off it doesn't sound really human so i would wait for five minutes and then i will search for conversation ai so i will select this action because there are two this one is the question answer bot this is the appointment booking bot i know we are our our eventual goal is to book an appointment but we will start by qualifying the lead so i'm going to select this and i'm going to turn this on advanced bot configuration so i'll just say uh, i'll just go through this real quick with you guys, but you can, I mean, this is pretty easy to understand. This is you giving personality instructions to the bot, basically saying that this is how you should behave with the leads. So you are highly, not highly. So you are, let's say, uh, John, so you're John Doe, a rockstar salesman for company X, which will be the martial arts studio, right? You're given a single question to ask at every reply, keep at it, continue the conversation by following the question exactly. I'll get to, get to the question shortly. You can develop new responses based on the, uh, you know, so uh, if you, if a user has specific business query about it, you can refer to, uh, refer our website to answer that. Be persistent if the customer is not interested, get them to stay and continue to talk. Uh, so the, the typical, if they, if they deny that, if they deny the intro booking, uh, deny to the intro booking you'll just be persistent and try to book them in by you know asking questions or engaging them through a conversation but do it two times not more than that because that would be aggressive so that's the personality right then moving on the next thing is additional instructions so let me expand that a bit so that was about personality this one's about giving uh, the bot a few more specific instructions so you can say you're persistent we talked about it before you're persistent if they're not interested get them to stay and talk uh, when addressing objections first acknowledge the prospect's point you know uh, just to stay relevant to, to the conversation and this also gives you an opportunity because you know that this is built on the open AI, AI engine open AI is you know really generic with its, its responses it says apologies for the confusion I apologize for the confusion I understand so you can train the bot to avoid those type of responses instead of I understand say ah I see what you mean so it's more human instead of I apologize for the confusion you can say sorry for the mix-up I can assist you. No, happy to help. Yes. So that kind of stuff. You can do as many as you like. 
Uh, and I think that this workflow that you'll create for AI appointment booking won't be 100% perfect at day one. So you'll have to keep optimizing it. You'll have to keep training it based on the conversations that you see it doing with the leads, right? So you can go through it uh, the, at your own time. The more time you spend on it, the more perfect it will be. So my first question will be, uh, so th they've submitted the form. Hi, this is John. Where are you looking to book an intro at our academy? So that's my question. And all these instructions are focused towards this single question, right? And uh, the next thing you're going to see is timeout. So it'll wait for one hour for the lead to respond. Channel is SMS. The bot will chat through SMS channel only. Skip if answered. Okay. Bot responses limit. Okay, so that's five. We could do 10. So we could, you know, uh, if the conversation starts going off track and the lead doesn't, uh, the prospect doesn't answer this question, the bot would do it, you know, keep doing it 10 times and that's it. And then it would go to no condition met because the answer wasn't given or the bot didn't get the answer to the question from the prospect. Or if it, if it times out, like if, if there's a timeout, there's a new condition. So these are branches like if else, right? So I will add a new condition saying that replied positive. And instead of, you know, searching for those drop downs like you do in if else, this is chat GPT, like uh, this is open AI. So I can give it a human condition, like how we talk, how, how we humans talk. So I'll say prospect wants to book an intro class or prospect replied positively and wants to book an intro class. So that's my condition. If he, if the person replies positive, then this branch will be executed. If no condition met and the bot has tried 10, ten times, this condition, uh, this branch will be executed. If the person didn't reply, this branch will be executed. So I'll save this action. And there you go. So we have our three branches. Now we're going to work with no condition met and timeout later. Let's start qualifying the person a bit more or the prospect a bit more. So I'll just literally copy this, copy this action and paste it here. So another conversation AI branch starts, right? So conversation AI, okay, you're John and all those stuff. Okay. That's, that's fine. Everything. Okay. Just, I would just change the question and say, Perfect. Well, now I will just ask another question. Have you done martial arts before? So have you done martial arts before? And the same usual setup, just I would change the condition. Replied positive is, uh, I would say prospect replied positively and said he or she has done martial arts before. I'll add another condition saying replied negative. And I'll copy this and say prospect replied negative and said she has not or never done martial arts before. Right. Okay. So we have no conditions met. Again, the bot would try 10 times for the lead to reply to uh, get to say either positive or negative response or uh, if times out, if positive, if negative. So we have four branches now for this conversation AI work, uh, workflow action. That's our second step. So now what if they replied positive? So I'll just copy this again, copy this action. So this branch executes if the person has done martial arts before. Let's get to it. The action name, personality, uh, additional instructions. The question will be awesome. Uh, we have an offer running currently where you can sign up on the first day and get one month free. Would you be interested in that or would you like to go ahead and book a taster or, or an intro to see uh, what it is like? Right. OK, so usual setup. OK, that's done. Everything uh, looks good. Now, no condition met, bot times out, replied positive, replied negative, replied positive. So uh, here I'll just do uh, prospect reply positively and uh, said he, she wants to, to sign up for one month free offer negative. Uh, and he, she wants to book an intro class. Okay. So we have another branch over here. So let's rewind. First, we start by asking were you looking for you know were you looking to book an intro at our academy intro class at our academy no condition met times out 
and then positive res response right so if they if they are interested we would ask have you done martial arts before uh no condition met times out positive negative so he has done martial arts before he hasn't done martial arts before if he has we would offer another thing saying that uh we have a one month free offer would you like to sign up for that if it's negative we would ask uh so this is the one right so i'll just do the here so i'll just do uh conversation ai and uh i'll just do uh no worries because this is now we are working with they haven't done martial arts before uh i would or i'll just skip this one you know what i'll just skip this part so they have done martial arts before we we offered them that's all good if they haven't we would ask them to book an intro right away so i'll just do now a new action appointment booking conversation ai bot and here so i'll just do appointment booking conversation ai bot and now i will select book an intro class that's our calendar that I, we talked about at the beginning of this video and uh that's all good and i will uh in the additional instruction section start the conversation by uh asking when the prospect is available right so when are you available that's the question or maybe you can give it a specific question awesome when are you available to come in and then if the if the timing matches the time slot in the calendar then this uh, this bot will definitely book them in and maximum messages limit before it goes to appointment not booked is 10 so it would keep talking just like the question answer conversation ai bot the limit is 10 i would give it 15 or 20 uh just so you know th there could be confusions and there could be back and forth timing confusions so i would give it 15 or 20 20 messages so they would keep the conversation going and they would try to match a date and time if it matches then they would uh, the bot would book them in for that slot the person or the prospect doesn't have to go ahead and book it in the in the calendar itself timeout value is 24 in hours so you can change that to i would say keep it to 24 hours so the bot waits for 24 hours before it actually times out channel is sms and don't let the bot send confirmation message yeah you can i'd keep it as it is and you can't change all these because these are default branches so i'll save action so that's our basic setup now let's talk about this branch a bit this branch executes two uh, more branches which is prospect replied positively and said wants to sign up for one month free offer and the negative uh, the negative reply says replied negative and it wants to book an intro class so this one we can do go to and we will just do so we will go to this branch where it uh, starts the conversation to book an intro so we don't have to do the redundant stuff over here right um, and now if, if they replied positively i'll just send an internal notification because they want to sign up now and uh, you know right at the spot so i'll just do from crm uh, you know it this will be your email from that you're sending it from user will be custom email so i'll just do info at martialartsacademy.com this will be the martial arts academy's email so they get the emergency notification urgent lead wants to sign up right away for a membership i please follow up with contact full name who wants to sign up for an intro right away and then you could do other stuff like you know add them to a pipeline stage where it says wants to sign up or interested to sign up without an intro uh you can add them uh, add a tag you can send them an email saying that uh we will get back to you with the sign up link and sign up process uh, instructions whatever you can do all that stuff here under internal notification right now we are not going to talk about timeout and con no condition met because you can figure that out on your own but just to give you an uh, idea this is what a lead qualification ai appointment booking workflow looks like so it starts by asking them if they're interested if they have uh, done martial arts before if they have okay we are offering them something else if they're not interested then we will we'll get back to the intro booking flow if they are interested to sign up right now uh, we will send a notification to the business owner and do a lot more other stuff using the workflows so i'll just publish it and i'll hit save that actually creates our appointment booking bot 
or appointment booking workflow or automation, whatever you want to call it. So this is pretty simple to do. I would say uh, there's no complicated stuff. It looks really complicated, but it is really not. If you have watched the whole video, it shouldn't be complicated at all for you. Uh, and also name these. Uh, I, I would I have a really terrible habit of not naming the actions. So the first action should be called asking if lead wants to book intro. So asking if lead wants to book intro replied positive then asking if uh, lead has done martial arts before and then if positive then asking if lead interested to sign up for one month free and then you know the, so now this all makes sense right because if you don't name it no one else would be able to work on it and they would find it really difficult uh and then if they if they are all good with booking the intro say uh initiate intro booking sequence so the bot does its job and talks to the lead and then books them in right so that's the workflow and uh, hope this was useful hope this was helpful for you to understand conversation ai a bit better in Kuala level and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.